hey beauties welcome and welcome back in today's video i'll be doing a little walkthrough of how i shop online from jamaica and how you can too so stick around for the video to shop online you'll need three main things firstly you'll need to have a debit or a credit card you also need a US mailing address and you also need the receiver's address which which would be your address your physical address if you're using a debit card to make a purchase online you have to ensure that the debit card is a valid visa or mastercard with the cvv code and the cvv code is basically the three digit security code on the back of the card in order to get uh, a u.s mailing address you would either have to sign up with a local shipping company or you would need to bring the item out yourself if you're taking a trip overseas or you can ask a family or a relative who is overseas and they're coming to jamaica to bring the items for you you could also ship items through the post office but the post office take years to ship your items so i wouldn't recommend using the post office unless you have the patience and the time to wait to get the the package what you can also do is to ship the items through the wharf i don't know how the process for the wharf is because i've never shipped anything there before so if you're taking that step you would basically have to do a bit of research on how it works and take it from there the source that i'll be sharing with you today is using a local shipping company that's because that's what i've been doing over the years and it has worked out pretty fine for me so i know that there are persons out there who would like to shop online but they don't know the first step or how to go about doing it so i'm sharing what i do with you today the local shipping company that i use is ship inville and it's located in mandeville manchester when i was in montego bay i used a few others but if you're in another parish you would have to compare the rates of the shipping companies in your area to see which one would suit your needs the best and what you are shipping i'll leave the link to shippingville in the description box so that if you are from manchester or even st elizabeth and close by and you would like to ship stuff from overseas to jamaica their prices are pretty reasonable and I haven't had any issues with my packages over the years that I've been shipping with them. So if you want to try them out, you can use the link in the description to sign up. After signing up, going through the entire sign up process, registration and everything, they will give you a US mailing address to ship your items to. What you need to sign up is basically your ID, your address, your TRN number, and name, email address, and a password. So that's basically the sign up process. Then they will basically guide you through and it's easy to sign up. So I don't think I'll have to walk you through that process. After receiving the US mailing address, you would be required to to use that address to send your packages to so whenever whichever site you are going to shop from online let's use amazon because i've always been shopping on amazon so whichever site you're going to use and they ask you for your shipping address that's where you will enter the mailing address that the shipping company will give to you so what they'll do is to ship the items to that address and then the company will ship the items to Jamaica and you would then go to their office to collect it or if they have door-to-door -door delivery which is delivery to your house you can select that option based on the location that you're living in and the convenience 
on Amazon, you can pre-save your shipping address on the website so you don't have to enter it each time you're making a purchase. So how you would do this is to basically click on the name in the top right corner of the website, which would be your name of course, then select addresses and add a new address. This is where you will enter the shipping address. You can also add the address, the shipping address at the checkout page. So after you've added the stuff to your cart and you're checking out, they're gonna ask you for payment information here as well. So they will ask you for the shipping address and you can add the address here as well. So whichever way is easiest or most more convenient for you, you can use that option. You will be required to add your payment information at the checkout page. So this is where you would add your card. And as I've said previously, you need to ensure that the card you're using is a valid Visa or MasterCard. Well, those are the two cards that I use. And it has to have a three digit security code at the back of the card for it to be eligible for online shopping. And know that locally we have some of the cards are not upgraded to Visa or MasterCard. So you cannot use them even though you have a debit card. If it doesn't have a three digit security code, it cannot be used for online shopping. So you probably need to check with your bank to get an upgraded card if you have an outdated one. I mean, it will still work at the ATM, but you can't do online shopping with it if it doesn't have the three digit security code. If it's a case where you don't have a credit or a debit card, some sites accept PayPal payments. So if you have a valid and active PayPal account, you can link your card to your PayPal account and use your PayPal to pay for the items. I've used PayPal a few times, but I found that the rates that they charge is more than what I would pay using my card by itself. So if you prefer to use PayPal, you can do that as well. After submitting your payment information, your shipping information and selecting your delivery option, on Amazon I know that they have free shipping and most other companies has free shipping as well but if they don't have a free shipping option you would need to select the option which best suits you so let's say you need the item a day after or two days later and they have one day shipping you can choose one day shipping but that would be at a very expensive rate compared to the others so standard shipping is usually the most affordable if there's no free shipping so after selecting these options and checking out you should receive a confirmation email stating that your order has been placed it will give you basically the order details so you should see the items that you've purchased the cost for the items when they will be delivered and yeah basically that after completing the order receiving the confirmation email and all you will need the invoice for billing some sites have a invoice section where you can download the invoice from the website itself but if you're shopping on a site which doesn't have the downloadable invoice you would have to take a screenshot of the items that you've purchased and ensure that the price is visible. So the name of the item should be visible. The image of the items should be vis visible as well as the costs that you've paid for the items. And if it's multiple items, you would have to ensure that the items, at least a few of the items are showing and the total is there. This is what the local shipping company will use to bill you for the items as long as the total is below fifty dollars they will charge you based on the weight of the items and the rates can be found on the company's website if you're shipping with a company that doesn't have the rates on their website then you would probably need to contact their customer service team to find out what their rates are 
and stuff like that normally they bill you by the the cost that you've paid for the item as well as the weight of the item so if you're shipping online one tip i can give you is to ensure that the items that you're purchasing are below fifty dollars if the items are over fifty dollars you will be charged customs fee i always avoid customs fee by ensuring that my items are below $50. If I'm making an order that's over $50, I would split the order into multiple orders. So if I have like five items and they're like $100, let's say $100, I would basically split it into two shipments or three orders, right? So I would save some of the items in my save for later section of my card, check out, two items or three items that's below $50 and then I would go back add the uh, other items to my cart and check out with those items that would be two different orders so even if they arrive on the same day or a next day you won't be paying customs fee because the order itself is below $50 cool that's basically everything i think i've covered everything as to how you can shop online and if i didn't mention something you can leave a comment in the comment section down below and that's basically it after the company that you purchase the item from ships the item to the u.s mailing address that you got from the local shipping company the shipping company will then ship the item to their office in jamaica and you would be required to pick up the item or have them deliver it to your house or your workplace or your business place whichever address you use so that's basically it if there is something that you need me to cover in another video you can leave a comment down below don't forget to like this video share the video with a friend hit that subscribe button turn your post notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my uploads and i'll see you in the next video peace